Good morning and welcome back. Today we are going to be hiking the Talbert Nature Preserve. And tell us about that a little bit, Dave. Well, I didn't even know it was here. I found it on All Trails, which is a fantastic app, by the way. And it's just a five or ten minute drive from our house to get started. Who knew that this was even here? I didn't. Right in our own hometown. There's a lot of stuff that's very close to all of us that we don't even know because we don't explore. That's Once right. we move in a place we get used to it, we stop exploring sometimes. So it's fun to get out and see what we have right in our own neighborhood. This hike begins in a park in Huntington Beach. But then we cross the river over into Costa Mesa for the main part of the hike. This is the Santa Ana River Trail. Rivers here in California aren't really rivers. They just sort of trickles, but then they fill up when there's rain. And here's that second industrial channel. Not sure why there's two channels here. We see lots of dragonflies out here, and I just have always wondered how they could fly with two sets of wings, and all the things go, that go on inside of a bug's brain. If you ever try to catch a fly, you realize how nimble they are here, and how quick their calculations must be. It's just absolutely fascinating, the design of nature. There's not much of an elevation gain on this hike, but we are at the top of a little hill, looking down at the wetlands, where they have lots of ponds where they catch rainwater, filter it through natural filters, and it ends up in the Orange County water supply. One of the things we appreciate most about California is that you can go through several microclimates in just a few miles. Here we get marshy wetlands with ducks and uh, almost jungle-like vegetation. We get dry grasslands. We get beach area with uh, sand dunes and the stuff that grows on that all in one little hike. 
looking up at the top of the mesa. We're down in the river bottoms. And there's some rather spectacular houses here. And it looks like one person even built sort of a fort there. <laughs> it's the only word I can think of for it, to look out over the valley. Well, we missed our turn off and all trails alerted us and said that we were off trail, off trail warning, which is really nice. We missed our turn right here, which we're going to take now, so we had to backtrack a little bit. And about this time on the hike where you start to get a little tired and joints start to ache a little bit, but we've got a saying, keep doing it so you can keep doing it. Push yourselves a little bit, not uh, ridiculously amount, uh, but uh, continue to do hard things so you can continue to do hard things. That's our motto. All right, we made it back to the little bridge. And this is the Banning Channel, we found out. Right. I'm not sure what the Banning Channel is for, but I think it's for conserving water that comes down and they put it into the groundwater, which we use then. And back to the playground again.